Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making an envelope journal. It's one of the easiest journals that you can make, in my opinion, and it's going to be an elastic signature instead of sewn in. And we're going to be using my we are uh, makers one two three punch board which does the envelopes the bows the boxes we can do the envelopes i'm going to be using this paper pad here um, i got this at ollie's for 4.99 so i want to kind of use it up and we're going to be using regular um cardstock for the cover instead of using chipboard i just feel like this way it makes it easier for you at home to make it because if you don't have chipboard, I mean, what are you going to do? So we're going to use regular um, cardstock. I cannot think today, so you're just going to have to mind me. It's been a long day. So we're just going to pull out these papers here are what I'm going to use to make the envelope. I think I'm going to make, what, maybe five envelopes. And then the envelopes will be stuffed with whatever you want to stuff it with. What do we got? I think I'm going to use this one. I'm just thinking because we are going to need a cover and a back. So I think I'm going to use these for our envelopes. Okay. And then... I'm gonna use this one for my cover, I think. We'll see. Well, let's make the envelopes. We'll start with those because we need to know what size to make everything. Um, let me get my, okay. So on the envelope punch board, if you've never used one, for this one, I, the other one, I think it's written right, like right here. This one folds open because it does three different things. But you look here and you find your card size. I'm gonna do four by six cards. So we need to cut it at eight and three eighths and the punch guide at three and a half. So we need an eight and, I did say eight and three eighths, right? Yeah, eight and three eighths square pieces of paper to make our envelopes. We're just gonna take our paper and cut it to eight and three eighths. It is so cold in my basement today. I'm never usually cold, but we are supposed to be getting snow. Snow today, tonight. And I think it's just getting colder and colder outside, but and it's really cold in my basement. Um, <laughs> we had a, a leak, a sewage leak in our basement. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Um, it happens way too often down here and this is the first guy that said to me that he thinks he knows what the problem is. So we're going to get somebody in to see if that's the problem. But he thinks the problem might be that the pipes are now off kilter. And that's why we keep getting blockages. So we'll see. But he thinks that's what the problem is. But yeah, it's, and it's so freaking cost so much money. He was here, so he was here for like two hours fixing the problem, but it was freaking over $300. But now it's cold down here from having the door open the whole time he was here. And it is a little bit smelly. Okay. It is what it is. It, it, it happens. This is an older house, it happens. All right, so we cut all our papers to eight and three eighths and we are going to, our punch guide is at three and a half. So we line up our paper to three and a half, punch and score, turn and line the score line up with the little knob, punch, score, and keep going around and around and around. So 
that's one. I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna do the rest. Well, I'll do one more and then I'll pause and do the rest. Just in case you've never seen it in action, which I'm sure you have. And the secret is, if you are having trouble, you see where the score line is, you can match it right up to this score line down here. See how there's a score line here? Okay, you can match this score line you just scored. If you're having a problem lining it up and you can see it, you can match that score line with that score. And then what you do is you see where the, it says four and seven eighths, so that's where you line it up. Okay, oh, well, I hope if I score the paper. But then you'll line this back up at three and a half, which is our original score. And then you can line this one up at four and seven eighths. Now that you know the score, you line up your paper at four and seven eighths and you have it. Okay. Let me pause and I will be back. Okay. I have all of them punched. I did not round the corners because I don't, that doesn't matter to me if the corners are rounded. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. That doesn't matter to me when I'm using my envelope punch board. If it bothers you, you round the corners. So we're going to fold all of our envelopes together. I'm telling you, it is like, I'm usually not this cold. It is so cold down here. Like I said, it is supposed to snow. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Because I do have physical therapy again in the morning and I don't. I don't like being in a car in the best of times. I don't want to be in a car when it's snowing and driving. Mm -mm. I'll pass on that. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll cancel. I hurt anyway, so I hurt bad. Okay. These will not get glued together because we do want to put our elastic inside of them. So they'll get glued together after we put the elastic in. But we just want to make sure we know what size these are so we can make our um wait, I cannot think. Our journal. Our journal our album, whatever you want to call it, so we can make our cover. So, envelope is six and three-eighths by four, a little over four and three-eighths. So, six and a half by four and a half is what we need for our cover. So I'm going to use um, a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Okay, and I'm using just black. Um, this is Astro Brights, and I think it's, I think it's 65 pound, I think. I think, I think, I think. That's not what I'm looking for. Don't mind me. <laughs> I grabbed the trimmer and it was the wrong trimmer. Okay. Come in. All right. So we're going to cut this down to six and a half. Okay. So we're going to cut this down to six and a half. And while we have the trimmer out, so, so we know it's going to be four and a half. Okay, I got, hold on, I gotta do math. Okay, so this needs to be nine and a half inches. All right. We're gonna do a half inch spine, because I think that's all we'll probably need. As you know, I'm just winging it here, okay? All right, we're gonna use this piece, because I love this piece, and I think it'll look 
great on the cover. I said I was going to use another piece on the cover. I don't know why I said I was going to use that piece. We're going to go six and a quarter. And then four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. And then... Oh, I need a different. We're going to do come on. Half an inch, right? Isn't that what I said it was? I don't know, we'll see. I don't remember. It was literally like 10 seconds ago and I don't remember. That's all right. All right. So we're going to score at... Jeez Louise. I cannot pick anything up today. Oh, my jeez. We're going to score at four and a half. And turn and score at four and a half. Okay. I'm going to score both sides. All right. So on the nine and a half inch side, we're going to score at four and a half and five. That's where your score lines, score lines are going to be. Seriously. It's so cold. Jeez Louise. Funny thing is, I'm never cold. Never. When I say I'm never cold, I'm never cold. Like, I don't tell a lot of people this, but I have hyperhidrosis. Like, I freaking sweat. I'm on medication for it, but I sweat. So the fact that I'm cold, you know it's cold. All right. So we have this little, little, little album. And we're going to... Oh, good. I brought my glue down. I was worried I didn't bring my glue down. We are going to... glue this down glue this one down Needs to be a little bit shorter, a little bit, a little bit thinner. I don't know. Don't mind me. Okay. I did so much today, and I hurt bad because I also went to the mall, and I never go to the mall. But my dad bought sweatpants on Amazon, and they are just, they were way too big for him. And he was going to keep them, and I'm like, dude, they are way too big. You cannot keep them. <laughs> so I convinced him to return them. So I went to Boscov's today and found him some really nice sweatpants at Boscov's. And then my boyfriend needed work shirts. So we went to Penny, and that's at the opposite end of the mall. And then, no, that's not like... Boss Cubs is in the middle of the mall, and then JC is at one end, and then we walked all the way to the other end to get food. So I hurt. But it's my dumb fault. Alright, let's. I want to take this out to put on the front cover, I think. To decorate the cover. And then I need something for the inside. I really like this one for the inside. Okay, and then we have these that I could decorate with. All right. Sorry, so it is rigid. All right, we're going to take 
this and cut it down to six and a quarter again, just like the inside. Six and a quarter. I'm going to be smart this time though. So this is 12 inches and we need what? We'll do three eighths of an inch. So there we go. That's for the inside. <laughs> and then we'll cut to four and a quarter and four and a quarter. All right. These will go on the inside. Oh my God. Seriously. Maybe I need to put more coats of stuff on my desk. Also, I still apologize for the shadows. I am still looking for lighting. The boyfriend and I were talking about it today about what kind of lighting that I could get. So we're looking. I just haven't really been able to find anything that I know will work above my desk without having to move my desk. And I don't want to move my desk. So that's where I'm at right now. Just trying to figure out what will work to have better lighting in here. Glue this on. I can hear my dad and the boyfriend loudly talking upstairs. Loudly. All right, so let's put these aside. And here's the envelopes. And here is elastic. This elastic I got on Amazon. So what we're gonna do, is figure out how much elastic we need for each one and we're going to cut it there so let's see let's see so I can give you a measurement about Yeah, a little over 13 inches I cut for this piece and we'll just use, I need what, five? Yeah, we'll just use this as our template basically and cut a bunch. I don't want to use that scissor. Okay. I, since I painted my desk, I moved a bunch of stuff around and I used to have a garbage can under my computer However, I also have one under my desk and I'm like, I don't need to. So I moved it and I put this little felt basket here. I'll show it to you. I, my boyfriend found it at Target and it's very nice. Look, it's just this little felt basket, but it fits all of this kind of stuff in it. And it's right here, right where I can reach. It's really nice. And it was in the dollar spot. It was in the dollar spot and it was $5 and they have different sizes, but that one is like the medium, I think that was the medium it said, and it's really nice. But it works great for all my scissors and bone folders and stuff. All right, so we got our five pieces. And what we're gonna do, I'm so sorry, is take a piece, line it in, or you know what, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tie them on, that's what we're gonna do. Screw it. Let's tie them on. Come here. So the knot is on the inside and we're just going to tie each one on and then we will glue the um, uh, envelope around it. In. 
Come on. I am struggling here. Here we go. So that's one. I'll do the rest off camera because you don't want to see me struggle anymore. Okay. So they're all tied. It took a little bit longer than I thought. Listen, I did my nails and I got a dip nail kit. Can you hear how hard they are? But they're thick because if you've ever done dip nails, they're thick. And I think that's what I'm kind of struggling with right now. Okay, so we're going to take the first one and we're just going to glue this down. Here it is. We're going to glue this down. All right. And put the elastic inside it. And there we go. So we have one. We'll go for the next one. Okay. Now when you're gluing your envelopes together, make sure you stop about here. You see, I stop about here on this edge. I go all the way down on this edge and around this edge here, and then only do to about here on the envelope. Because you do have all of this that is not glued to anything. You don't want to glue your envelope down. You could use this for a little mini album. You can use this as a journal. Like if you make it, I made a small one. You can make it as big as you want, as many envelopes as you want. Like you could do literally 30 envelopes and have one for each day and have this as a journal. If you would like to see me do that for one of these months coming up, you let me know and I will gladly make, I really did enjoy the, um, all pocket journal. I did enjoy that one, so I would gladly do it. All right, I have my, you can't see it, but I have my um, ribbon drawer out here. I just wanna look to see if I can find, here's black. All right, so we'll use the black ribbon. Okay. Don't, what I want to do is tie these together. So we'll do that. So grabbing a length, I don't know, what did I grab here? Um, so about 19 and a half inches. I just cut a length. I don't think it matters. As long as you can put it around your elastic. I just want to put it around this elastic. I'm going to put it up farther, right there, and then tie a bow. Okay, and we're going to tie that nice and tight and then trim. So we have that. So we have that like there. 
Okay, and that holds all of our pieces of elastic together. And you can move it wherever you want. If you want it down lower, you just slide it down lower. If you want it in the middle, put it in the middle. Doesn't matter wherever you want it. So we have that. And then if you want, you could punch a hole in here and add ribbon to tie it around. This is very flat right now. I think I would just leave it be the way it is currently. But let's decorate the cover and add some stuff into the pockets. Um, I'm literally trying to get the pin in my glue. That's the, like, that was bad. Let's take this piece here and cut it down to um, three, three by five. So we'll do three by five, and that'll go on the front cover. Okay, and then let's cut some four by six cards, because that's what we decided on, right? We're just going to use this, because I have it here. Okay, and then I want to use this here. Come on. And then we'll get two from here. So we have two cards from there. So we have four cards. We need one more. So what do we have here? Nope, not the right size. I'm just going to use that other one since it's there and it's the right size. Okay. So all we're going to do is just put journaling cards in here. This was a mistake, this one. Look at this one ripped because the weird paper it is. It's a very glossy, like thin paper. I shouldn't have used it, but. Honestly, a lot of times when I'm making things, I am just making things for you guys. I'm not making them for me. I'm just making them so you give you ideas, things to do, what you can make. So this will go on a shelf somewhere and that'll be it. All right, so we have that. That's really nice. And then we have this piece here. And let's see what we have sticker wise in here. All right. Hmm. Let's use this dream big. Yeah, put that there. And then how about some little hearts? And one more. Good enough. Good enough. And then we'll just glue this on. And there you have it, like a super easy, quick journal from start to finish with five pages in here. It took me 29 minutes and 15 seconds according to this video. It was, I would add about five minutes for, not even five minutes for punching the envelopes. Like it did not take me that long to punch three envelopes off camera or whatever I did off camera. So like it bas it's like a half an hour and you have a cute little mini album or journal. You can easily pull this out put a photo on here and then journal on the back for your photo. Journal on here, photo on here. You can do photos on the back of these. So this realistically can hold one, two, three, 12 photos, realistically 12 photos and journaling or 
22 photos. Nope, I did the math wrong. Seventeen. Seventeen photos if you would do front and back on the pages in the envelope. So there you go. Quick, easy, it's super cute, easy to make, and it's using supplies you most likely have. If you do not have elastic, um, I believe this is in my Amazon storefront, which is always linked down below, but you can get elastic at Dollar Tree. Okay, you can get colored elastic, whatever you want. I use a lot of elastic, so I bought mine on Amazon, but you can get it at the Dollar Tree. So this could be one paper pad, one paper, like 12 by 12 paper pad can make you a nice sized little envelope journal. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this. Um, let me know down below. Would you like me to make one of these bigger for a journal? For one of these months, let me know that down below. And um, if you have any ideas for anything you would like to see me make, please also comment that comment that down below. Ooh, that was hard to get out. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.